On the night of September the 18th, an ammunition depot was attacked in the Russian settlement of Toropets in the Tver region. And this attack is one of those that affect the ability of the Russian occupation forces to carry out massive shelling of Ukraine, noted Ukrainian aviation expert Anatoly Krapchinsky. There is a weapons depot next to every Russian airfield, but none is as important as this depot in the Tver region, he emphasized in a comment to Liganet. According to the expert, the attacked warehouse was one of the largest Russian warehouses closest to the territory of Ukraine. This large warehouse is a hub from which products were distributed to small warehouses like those we previously destroyed in the occupied territories of Ukraine. Krapchinsky added, now this warehouse has been destroyed. According to some information, detonations are also occurring in the underground storage facilities, the source said. At the same time, Krapchinsky noted that it is worth monitoring the situation in the Moscow region. Something similar could happen there too. There is Arsenal 53 outside Moscow. They produce aerial bombs and everything connected with them there. Therefore, we should expect the explosion of other warehouses, conventionally around Moscow. Because there is still something there that needs to be destroyed, Anatoly Krapchinsky summed up. Another military expert, Ivan Kirichevsky, has said that the explosions on September the 18th in Russia's Tver region were unprecedented in world military history. There is no accurate data to analyze what exactly the Russians were storing in the warehouse in Tver. There are various reports about the types of ammunition stored there. The Center for Countering Disinformation mentioned that North Korean KN-23 ballistic missiles might have been present. Other sources, including the security services of Ukraine, suggested that Tochka U missiles could have been stored there. While the Russians no longer produce these missiles, they are manufactured in North Korea. For now, it is best to wait until the initial excitement from such a powerful explosion subsides before analyzing all the data, Kirishchevsky explained on Espresso TV. According to the expert, the ammunition from the 107th arsenal of Russia's main missile and artillery directorate is intended for the Russian troop group in the Kursk region. Perhaps there has never been an explosion like this in the history of the world's military. The explosions at the ammunition depot in the Tver region even caused an earthquake. If you analyze events from the First World War, the explosion at Kiev Fortress in 1918, and even during the Second World War, Nothing like this happened with ammunition depots. Moreover, if we consider the importance of the 107th arsenal of the main missile and artillery directorate to the Russian military, there is no information suggesting that this particular depot was responsible for supplying the Russian forces operating in the Kursk region. This is why all of this ammunition could theoretically have been intended for use against our military. He emphasized.